Leon, how are you doing? Um, congratulations on last night's victory. How was it to play in a game that was just so frantic, so end to end? Yeah, as you as you said, frantic. It was kind of a up and down game, a bit like a roller coaster, but with a happy end for us. So obviously that was good um, for me. Back to a new old role. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy that I can still play it. Hi, Leon. The manager said last night, obviously, you'll, you'll need to shore things up at the back next week. But just how excited are you for, for the campaign ahead? And what do you need to change for next week's leg? Well, excited, just like before, because this whole season has been exciting. The whole campaign has been exciting. And I think so far we've done quite well. Um, I think that's fair to say. And yeah, what exactly we will have to change, we will still get to that in the analysis of the game. But definitely after the game, what we could tell and say already was that defensively, defensively overall, we have to do better. Uh, I think that was pretty obvious. Um, but I think there's still loads of positives in terms of the team mentality, the resilience we showed. Um, and that's something um, that we could take away straight from the game. And like the details, then we have to work that out over the, over the next few days. Morning, Leon. Um, the manager said last night one of the attractions in signing you was that he knew you could play it right back, but I'm just wondering, when, when was your last time you played such a, a high-profile game in that sort of position? Started a game as a right back. Oh, I played, the last game I started at right back was against Sheffield Wednesday with Brighton. In terms of high-profile game, probably I would say Bayern Munich back then in the Bundesliga. Leon, you did a terrific job last night at right back. How do you compare your approach to that position to James Tavernier's? Uh, well, I can't replace James Tavernier because he's a beast and um, we are certainly different type of player. Um, I mean, obviously I'm a center half. Um, I can just try to match it as good as possible um, and put my own style kind of into it. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely, it was not easy, but I tried to, to um, not be some sort of, um, can you say that shortage for us? Like I, I, I tried not to come short when it comes to the attacking, because that's a, that's a key part to our game for the fullbacks. And I just tried to, to fill in as, as good as I can. Um, but yeah, to compare myself with Taf, I think that's, uh, or that I, have, I have to show him some respect because he's really a terrific fullback and like his, this high intensity running, these kind of things, that's something that I'm not used to. Uh, maybe at one point I was, I might have get to you, uh, have to get used to that again, uh, but probably that's the, that's the biggest difference between me and him, that he's just running up and down the line for 180 minutes probably if, if needed. Um, so I can try to match that. Leon, I suppose with the, the performance you put in last night, if you are needed to play there in a, in a sort of longer term role that that performance will have given you confidence that you know you can still perform at a good level at right back. Yeah, I think I think I can do that. I mean, um, in, I was in the beginning. I needed some time to adapt, especially first half, because I also was not one hundred percent warm. It was quite fast when it happened quite early as well. Uh, but then the managing team in in half time, especially Mick, he also gave me a little uh, injection of confidence, which helped. And um, I think the whole team helped as well because we had like a shift in the second half. wasn't all good, wasn't all perfect. Sorry, but um, that obviously helped me a lot as well um, to gain confidence within the game, um, get get the ball more into feet, get more touches on the ball, and then yeah, try to adapt that uh, James Tavernier role as good as possible. What was it Mick said to you to, to give you that boost of confidence? It just reminded me of a few things. Like it literally said, like, I know you can play it and you have, you have all the abilities you need um, physically, technically, and just go out there and play as a right fullback. I know you can do it. And that was just like a little reminder. And also like just, it gave you just, gave me just, just a little extra boost, you know, to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like back yourself properly there. Because I came in in kind of a shaky period as well in the first half. So... Uh, that helped. Morning, Leon. What does it say about the the confidence of this side that at three two down you kept going to try and get the win, whereas many sides might have thought two away goals, three two, that's okay and shut up shop. This Rangers team went right to the last minute to try and get the win. Um, yeah, it shows you confidence, but I would say even more so resilience and then like 
just the great team spirit that we have amongst the group, um, like just to not give up. I think um, that's one of the, the words we, we use a lot, like to be resilient and relentless. And we just kept pushing and pushing and pushing because we knew there was more to the game than, than a draw. Um, and uh, in halftime, we already said like, we can, we can equalize that game. That's for sure. And we can win it. And um, that also, again, came from, from the managing stuff. I said it before, like uh, they're very good at just finding the right words and just the right, right tone to, to get us and get to us. And then I think we pretty much stuck to that and um, filled it with life. As I said before, not perfect, but good enough. Leon, I guess moving on now, you're back to domestic uh, duties. How key is it just to keep this momentum going, regardless of what you said about performance? It's all about results at this time of the season, and you're closing in now on that title. I mean, you pretty much said it already there for me, actually. Um, it's, it's, it's key and um, crucial that, that, we, that we go for, for another win on the weekend. Uh, prepare for that well, we recover well from yesterday, obviously, uh, going to analyze and make sure that we are the best version of ourselves again on Sunday. Um, yeah, as you said, to, to get one step closer to that big goal that we all have. Morning. Um, just quickly on your own personal fitness, it looked like you took a bit of a sore one against the boards. How's your shoulder? Uh, it's not too bad, actually. It's a little bit sore to the, uh, this morning, but nothing crazy.